Hey everybody, in this video we're going to look at equations that have more than one variable and we're going to solve the equation for one of the variables. Here we go. Rewriting a literal equation. So what is a literal equation? It says an equation that has two or more variables. That's what a literal equation is. So to rewrite a literal equation, we just want to solve for one variable in terms of the other variables. So let's look at our examples. Examples one and two say, well, example one says solve for y. So we have 20 equals 8x plus 4y. So right now this equation we could say is solved for 20 because it tells us what 20 is equal to. Well, we wanna solve it for y. So let's get y by itself. So let's subtract 8x from both sides. So over here now we're gonna have 20 minus 8x equals 4y. And now we can divide both sides by four. And when, I, when we divide both sides by four, we're dividing negative eight x by four, and we're dividing 20 by four. So 20 divided by four is five, negative eight x divided by four would be negative two x equals y. And you could re, uh, rewrite this as y equals five minus two x. And we've solved it for y because now it says y equals. Example two, we wanna solve this one for x. Now notice here we have three variables. We have x, we have k, and we have y. So we wanna solve it for x. So this first thing we wanna do is move negative three to the other side. So now we have five x minus k x equals y minus three. And now what we're gonna do is undo this distribution that's happened. So think about the distributive property. And what we can do now is pull out an x. Okay, so almost like we've, we've factored out an x. So now we can say, okay, what do I multiply x by to get 5x? Well, five. What do I multiply x by to get negative kx? So that would be minus k. And now we can divide both sides by five minus k. So we get x equals y minus three divided by five minus k. And we've solved it for x because now it tells us what x is equal to. All right, this also comes into handy when we're working with formulas, like maybe area of a triangle or surface area of a cone, and they want us to solve for one of the variables in that formula. So for the area of a triangle, we have area equals one half base times height. Right now it's solved for A, which is the area. We wanna solve it for H, which is the height, okay? So let's multiply both sides by two. That will cancel out that one half, right? One half of two is one. So now we have 2a equals b times h, and now we can just divide both sides by b, and we get h equals 2a divided by b. And we've solved it for h. Last example, we have s for surface area, we have pi in there, uh, which is a number, it's not a variable, and we have r and we have l, and we wanna solve this for l. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to subtract this pi r squared. So let's subtract pi r squared because I'm trying to get just my L term by itself, which is the pi r L, which is that last term. So now we have S minus pi r squared equals pi r L. And when it says pi r L, that's pi times r times L. So we can divide both sides by pi times r. So that what that will do, that'll cancel out the pi on the right side and the r on the right side. And so now we can say L equals S minus pi r squared divided by pi r. So doing this can help us, especially with formulas, solve for a given information that is listed in the problem, okay? And that's how we rewrite literal equations.